When Finance Minister Kom Imbil concluded his budget presentation on Monday, he assured the nation that they did not need to fare because it was designed to ease the pockets of citizens. However, the political leader of the Progressive Democratic Patriots, Watson Duke, refuted the minister's claims and instead described the budget as one filled with deception. He pointed out the flaws among the incentives during a press conference at the party's headquarters in Scarborough, and reporter Candice Jackson tells us more. A $3 increase in minimum wage is being touted as the government's big-ticket item announced in the national budget. However, the political leader of the PDP, Watson Duke, said the public should not be fooled into thinking it would benefit them in any significant manner. $3 increase on your hourly salary. When one looks at the monthly salary, it's about 3006 Of course, it's much better than what goes on now. But remember, what's happening now, it is total advantage. In his opinion, the increase should match the current cost of living in the country. And so today, I'm calling for minimum wage throughout the entire country of nothing less than $5,000. Duke strongly disagreed with the government's intentions to raise the retirement age from 60 to 65. He believes that such an increase puts seniors at risk, particularly those who may not be in the best of health as they get older. He also questioned why the government failed to increase pension rates. In the real world, pensioners receive an increase every year, something that matches inflation, and if the government was so big on following world standards, they would have ensured all our pensioners would have received a minimum increase of what inflation would have taken away from them. Turning his attention to public servants, the former PSA president called out the finance minister for attempting to influence trade unions by offering a $4,000 tax-free Christmas bonus to those who have settled wage negotiations for the 4% offer from the government. So he used it to coerce them skillfully to say others have signed on. Thank you. And he inflated the figure to one billion dollars in payout. One billion dollars what? All fooling people. One billion sounds like a lot of money. But I say to you, it's a sad fate for those who have signed for the four percent. The finance minister announced that allocations would be made to the national security to triple the police force. But Duke is skeptical about this decision. Because why the police? Because next year will be a level of crime fighting that is unprecedented. That will make the time of Burroughs and the Flying Squad look like chili babies. As the government makes a dash to restore law and order and bring crime down. Candace Jackson, Tobago Updates, Television News.